Hey everyone, Chitu Fahadans here, and we're going on a little Mythbusters on this episode of Anamorphic Chop Shop. So, I think everyone that owned or owns or thought of owning a Panasonic LA7200 lens has probably seen this video from iPatch Entertainment and spent hours on end trying to grab a plus 0.25 diopter to fix this amazing piece of glass. Well, thanks to my friend Rob Bannister and my partner at Creative Camera Rentals here in Vancouver, I was able to get my hands on a huge 77mm plus 0.25 B plus W diopter. And again, thanks to Gear House Camera Rentals, again in Vancouver, I got the Panasonic LA7200 so uh, I could finally test what's being said in that video. I don't have a red scarlet at hand, uh, getting the glass was already hard enough, but I'm going with my loyal 5D Mark III and my new old Canon 50D. I'm shooting this before I shoot my tests, and later on I'll try to piece together what the shots tell us but I'm gonna take a few guesses at how and why the shots on Mark's video look so good and sharp. First, the Scarlet shooting at 4K has a 1.6 crop factor which results in a APS-C Super 35 sensor which uh, leads to a smaller sensor area being used. The same thing go goes for the GH2, which has an even smaller sensor than that. Uh, second, his taking lens is pretty wide, from 17 to 55, and mostly at f4. The penny can perform good naturally at f4 and such wider angles. I'm thinking the shots would look pretty much identical if he had removed the diopter. I don't know. I might be wrong, of course. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot some tests using uh, full frame and the exact same setup with and without the diopter, not moving the camera, not moving the lenses, not moving anything. I'm picking the, the contact size, I'm gonna use the 28mm and the 35 so you can try to keep an eye on what's changing. Then I'm going to some shots of a hike that I'm planning with my friends tomorrow and the celebration around the Pride Parade here in Vancouver at Davies Street. All of those will be shot with this. This is the Canon 50D with a 17 to 40 f4 lens as a taking lens. I'll mix the shots with and without the diopter in the edit so you guys can try to guess which shot has it and which shot doesn't. If you can spot that, that's the supreme test for increased performance, right? If you can tell when the diopter is on, there is some gain there. Well, click here to go to the test video and next week I'll have them with all the specs listed, specific and overall comments and also an explanation if this trick actually works or not. It would be awesome if you guys could leave some comments if you think it works, if you think it doesn't work and why you think so and guessing which clip was shot with or without the diopter. See you there.